So the type of predator isn't really determined by the hive. Um, it's kind of the same for everybody, no matter whether it's Langstroth hive or a, um, I can't remember the names of any of them right now, any other type of hive. But predators include bears, which we don't really get too often in this part of Ontario. Um, raccoons can get into hives. Skunks like to eat the larva. So that's what the fence is mostly for, is for those those two. Um, it's not going to do anything against bear, probably. <laughs> and then mostly what wants to kill bees is they get mites. Uh, mites, which are basically just sort of fleas. There's other different diseases. Uh, American fowl brood, they kind of try and kill them. And then um, in your neighbors, <laughs> I guess. Um, if your neighbor is spraying pesticides or you are, that can kill them. Um, if there's a drought, there's not enough water, there's not enough flowers, there's not enough pollen. Really, any if all of these things align, that's when bees die. I find that like if there's just one thing wrong, like it's a really cold winter, that won't kill them on its own. But if it's a really cold winter and a really long winter, or it was really cold, got hot for a f like a few weeks and went back to being cold, there's all kinds of things that will cause them to deteriorate in their health which is as a beekeeper, what we're trying to fix. So to me, me and the bees, we're a team. So I'm doing everything I can to keep them alive, whether they make me any honey or not. My goal is for, they're like, they're kind of like pets. Um, and we work as a team, you know? I take care of them. If they have extra honey, I get to keep it. So there's not too many predators, but they're kind of hard to keep alive sometimes. <laughs>